Well, Japan has declared an emergency alert at another nuclear power plant in the northeast of the country. Radiation levels of about 700 times higher than normal have reportedly been detected at the facility in Onagawa. Well, authorities are currently investigating their source. Uh, well, for more opinion on the threat of a nuclear crisis in Japan, let's uh, talk to Harvey Wasserman, who's written extensively on the subject of a sustainable green-powered Earth. He joins me live now from... Ohio, many thanks for being with us here on RT. Now, Japanese officials insist that there is no danger for people in relation to the, uh, the crises affecting its nuclear plants. Well, obviously, they do want to avoid panic, but just how bad really is the current situation there, do you think? Very bad. It's very bad. Uh, we have now uh, reports of six reactors that are under stress. We've, we've had at least a partial meltdown at at least one reactor. We've already had to attempt to flood uh, a reactor with seawater. The problem is that when nuclear reactors go down, they still require electric power uh, to uh, operate pumps to keep the reactors and the spent fuel uh, uh, cool, and th this re power has been lacking. And uh, we, we could conceivably, God forbid, have six meltdowns here. Uh, this is, uh, and this is not a, uh, a, a situation to be taken lightly. I do not believe the Japanese government when they say that no one is at risk. Uh, uh, it's, you know, they're saying no one's at risk, but simultaneously they're evacuating people. I want to applaud them for evacuating the people, but uh, this is a, a situation where the risk is very, very substantial. Well, of course, uh, as you've been saying, the Japanese government has uh, uh, repeatedly stressed that it does not believe uh, people are at risk. But as we were saying, there is now trouble at this second power plant in Onagawa, away from the uh, Fukushima plant. And that uh, second uh, issue started with a fire, which uh, was quickly put out. But now radiation levels there are rising uh, rapidly in the vicinity. So is there a danger that other nuclear facilities could experience difficulty there? Well, we've actually had three, uh, and you have to remember there are multiple reactors at these facilities. Unlike other places in the world, the Japanese reactors are, are clustered. Uh, there were seven, for example, at Kashiwazaki in 2007 when they were hit by an earthquake, and all seven of those reactors had to shut. There are two separate multiple facilities at Fukushima, and now we have Onagawa as well. You remember that 11 reactors were shut uh, when the earthquake came, we don't know how many of those reactors are suffering uh, from s severe uh, engineering and operational problems, but it looks like uh, far more than was originally believed. This is a huge earthquake, which by some uh, uh, accounts has actually been upgraded to 9.0, which is just about the, the peak of the scale. And uh, these reactors were not designed to sustain a 9.0 uh, uh, earthquake, even though people knew it was a possibility. So we, we have, uh, as I say, 11 reactors are shut. We now know that six are under stress, any one of which could cause a hugely devastating uh, radi radiation release. There is no way that the people of Japan are not in danger, and I'm, I'm afraid that uh, a, a large enough release could affect Russia. Well, uh, indeed, the Japanese Prime Minister did earlier say that his country was facing its biggest crisis since the end of the Second World War. And uh, uh, moving on, uh, Japan, as we know, it does experience minor earthquakes almost every day, doesn't it? So how safe do you think it really is for a country like this to even have nuclear power stations in the first place? It's not safe at all. Those, sh those reactors should never have been built. I was in Japan in 1975, 76, and 78, and exactly this kind of scenario was discussed. People said you should not build these nuclear plants because something like we're seeing now could happen, and the government and the industry said, no, we will have it under control, and we clearly see now that they don't have it under control. You have to remember this is the second time in less than five years that an earthquake has hit a major nuclear facility. The uh, Kashiwazaki facility was hit with seven reactors in July of 2007. Serious damage was done, not as serious as we see today, but nonetheless, uh, th this is a, a, an endemic problem that we knew was happening uh, all along. There were many, many people in Japan that argued against these reactors being built, and now we're seeing the consequences. Well, as you mentioned, 
as mentioned earlier, after the crisis at Fukushima, the government did immediately order an evacuation uh, with the exclusion zone, uh, subsequently widened uh, considerably. Uh, do you think that uh, this will help? Is the government doing enough? It's impossible to know. I, in a situation like that, it's hard to do enough. We, we have an ongoing crisis here. These reactors are not yet under control. There's no guarantee that they'll get them under control. If you have six reactors that are having serious problems, simultaneous with the catastrophe that's occurred uh, elsewhere, non-radioactive because of the tsunami and the earthquake, uh, this country's resources are severely stressed. It would be very difficult, even under the best of circumstances, for any government in the world to deal with six simultaneous reactor um, uh, crises. And uh, I can't imagine that they have sufficient personnel or resources to properly deal with this. And uh, it is a very, very dangerous situation. Dangerous is a great understatement. Any one of these reactors, as I mentioned, is capable on its own of major radiation releases. There is an additional factor. These are old reactors. And as a result, they have a lot of spent fuel. Uh, and in this particular design, they're stored at the top of the reactor, if you can believe that. And so uh, they're very, very vulnerable, not only with the ongoing operation of the reactor core, but also with what may happen to the highly radioactive uh, spent fuel. No, Japan undoubtedly facing a very critical uh, situation. Harvey Wasserman, many thanks for speaking to us from Ohio.